hey guys what's up so in this video we will have a look at a bit of complex pair clauses not very complex but a bit more complex than uh, the one that we saw in our last video about the where clauses okay so this is our table pet and there are many records that are already there okay so you can see that we have many pets and they are born from 1989 to 1997 Okay, so suppose you are interested into only those pets whose birth, date of birth is after 1991. Okay, so how will we write the query for that? Okay, so again, since we have to filter out the records, then we will use a WHERE clause. But how will we write our WHERE clause? So first, we will uh, select all the records, select a star from pet. Now we have to filter out, so we will write where and we have to filter on the basis of birth so the condition clause will contain this column birth birth and we want to all these pets whose date of birth is after 1st of January 1991 okay so we are interested only um, into only those so what we will write is birth is greater than then we will write the date of birth And now our condition is complete so we'll just write semicolon and hit enter and here you can see that I have only those bits whose date of birth is after 1st of January 1991 so you can see that the date column we pass all the values in kind of string format but MySQL is intelligent enough to interpret it as a date and then accordingly it will handle this condition part so birth is a date column so this date should be greater than the date passed as a string in the right hand side so this is the way you will handle your date so there are many things that you can do with your date column or date data type which we will see in some future videos so so that was one thing that we did with our condition and what we can do is that we can write complex conditions so many times we can write and many times we can write or or many times we can use the combination of and and or both so we saw the example of and query in the previous uh, where clause video so in this video let us first have a look at or okay so now uh, let us have a look at all the records once again so these are our records so I'm interested into all those records which are either of which are of the species dog or of the species bird okay what we can do so again first we will get all the records select a star from our table pet and since we have to filter out the results it then so we will write here where and now after where we will write the conditions what is my condition my condition is a species should be either dog or bird okay so it's like any one of these conditions if it is fulfilled then I'm okay with that so when your conditions are like either this or that then you will write or but when your conditions are like this and that both and obviously you will use and so here my condition says that either from this species dog or from this species bird so either dog or bird so here we will use the condition or so I will write it like species is equal to dog or species is equal to bird and once my condition is done then I will write semicolon and hit enter so you can see that in our result set we get the records for all the dogs and all the birds so this is the way you will write our queries now many times you might be interested into a combination I mean the situation might demand a query which will have a combination of AND and OR okay so suppose you are interested into um, the species um, which are from dog and male or all the pets which are bird and female okay so you have something like that I want male dogs and female birds then how will you write a query so 
your condition is effectively made of two conditions male dogs female birds okay so you'll say either male dogs or female dogs or female birds so these two conditions will have a or in between them because it's like male dogs or female birds now each of these two conditions each of the uh, two conditions are actually a combination of a set of conditions so male dogs means male and dog female birds means female and birds so here the sub conditions will be formed by and because male and dog female and birds but the major two conditions will be like male dog or female birds so this is the way our um, conditions will be handled so let us write it so that it becomes more clear select star from pet now where so here it will be like male dog or female bird and so our major two conditions will be like it should be either male dog or a female bird we write it parenthesis so that this big this whole thing will act as a unit male dog and here again we have written a parenthesis yeah, we have written things inside a parenthesis so that everything inside parenthesis acts as a unit so it's like female bird whatever comes out of this parenthesis will be the result set of female bird and whatever comes out of this parenthesis set will be act as a male dog now how do we i get male dog we get a male dog by writing male and dog okay so it's like sex is m and species is dog okay and how do i get a female word sex is f and species is a bird so this is the way we write kind of a complex query which has the combination of and and or now when we execute the query we get this we get male dogs male dog and then a female bird so this is the way you kind of work on your complex where clauses and that was all for this video and see you guys in the next video